Hey guys, how are you? I hope you'll have a grocery week. Let's get in today's video. If you missed Renee Taylor's interview with Fran Dresser, I will link it in the description box below. And Renee is going to be interviewing Charles Shaughnessy this week. I'm super excited and I'll have that video for you the next day, which is Thursday on my main channel. So look out for that. And The Nanny. It's going to be airing on HBO Max April 1st, all six seasons. I'm super excited. You guys excited? The Nanny. HBO Max, April 1st. I mean, that was the awesome news right there. I was so excited. I said, yay, finally. Because I know fans will now be able to stream The Nanny anytime they want to. They can binge watch it. And I'm excited. I have the DVD set of The Nanny. I was excited because I had the first three seasons. Season 1, 2, and 3. And I was waiting for 4, 5, and 6 to come out. And I got the last three on DVD too as well. But I didn't get the complete box set DVD like everybody else got. Because, whew, I think it was very expensive. Like, wow. But I eventually might get it in the near future. And also... A giveaway coming soon. I'm excited. And stay tuned for that for more information in a future video on how you can enter in. I post videos every... I know I said I post videos every Monday and Friday on here. But we're going to go back to Wednesday. So every Wednesday on this channel, a new video. Yes, a new video. I've been watching Demi Lovato's documentary on YouTube. Wow. It was really sad. They got the first three on there. And there's more to come. I was like, whoa. To tell her side of the story of what happened. And to hear it straight from her mouth. Other than other people's mouths. Because you know they just run with it. And I'm glad that she's okay. That she's well. That she's alive. Because when she overdosed. And she said she shouldn't be here. But she's here. And I'm glad she is here. And I was like, whew, that was a lot. And have you listened to her new song that she released? Wow. Really good. And I'm very proud of Demi. Where'd you go, girl? And for those who blamed her photographer, I think that's her dancer, of what happened to Demi, she had no control of what Demi was doing. So why blame her? I mean, she got so much backlash and so much hate. Because they said it was her fault. No. <clears throat> it wasn't her fault. I know the fans love Demi. And care about her. Well being and everything. But y'all went a little too far. Way too far. Not little. But way too far. To do that. To her. She didn't deserve that. She didn't deserve all the hate. And the death threats that she was getting. She did not deserve that one bit. That was wrong. She didn't deserve that. Nope. Nobody deserves that. But I'm glad that she was able to speak her truth and tell her what happened. That she was able to. To say her side of the story. And I'm glad Demi was able to say her side of the story too as well of what happened. Because that was sad. It really was. It was heartbreaking. So if you haven't seen those, I recommend you go check it out. It's like, wow. It was just really... And the scene that got me was when her sister visited her in the hospital. I was like, wow, because she didn't recognize her. That was just this heartbreaking. I'm like, it was just, whew. It really got to me. And they did a great job on this documentary. Way to go, you guys. And I'm so thankful that Demi is here. She's alive. She's well. She's doing okay. And the next episode, episode four, talks about the boyfriend that she was with, blah, blah, blah. Who cares about him? He can go somewhere. Because he was using her. And then he came out and said that she was using him. Uh, excuse me. Demi is very well known out here. You were using her because nobody knew who you were before you got with her. I didn't even know who you were. You were just trying to like, oh, get clown. So, everybody will know who you are. And you using Demi. And then when she broke your heart. And broke up with you because of what you did to her. She's like bye. She deserves better. 
she deserves a lot better. Whoever ends up with her, treat her with respect. I love her for who she is, not for the money. Because there's people that love for the money, not for the person for who they are. Because it's hard to find people these days. It really is, especially if you're out there in the spotlight. It is. It really is. But anyway, I'm going to head it into here. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already for future videos. And I will see you in the next one on Wednesday with a brand new video. Bye, guys. Peace.